I'm Barbara Nichol, human being, and I work with um, Brent and others in the care of the self-design learning community. <laughs> I'm Brent Cameron, and I'm working on being a human being. It's a lifelong process. <laughs> I mean, I was literally taught in school to not smile for the first, like, two months. So, because, you know, that would be setting, sending a message that, you know, would create problems for you. You have to do this, this, this. You have to do this structure and you have to talk about this. With Earl, it was, um, here's an idea. If you want to use it, take it. Write something. In my experience with the public schools over 30 years, that notwithstanding a lot of good things that happened and a lot of really good fine teachers, uh, the system itself was a model for bullying. You know, adults are really propped up with that false assurity, and it doesn't serve uh, the children, the youth, um, and it does, I don't think it serves the adults to pretend that, that we have it all figured out. They let you have uh, as much responsibility as you can handle and as you want yourself. We're just so friendly and like open to what you want to learn about and not like a certain like really strict curriculum. It's more of just like shapes to what you, like your needs and your skills I guess. You just know that it's a great place to learn. It's sort of free learning and learning how they want to learn. You know, they get to decide. It really just it made me realize what I could do with learning and the people who want to teach you the things you want to learn. The courses, they are flexible to do something for you. And I think that it's, it's a school for the people. What do we want young people to be aware of as human beings on the planet in 2010? Here it's so much more engaging and so much more self-directed and there's so much room for student interest and student inquiry for what they really want to learn. So it boils down to you get to pursue your passion far more here than you do at other high schools because there is no real curriculum that you have to completely abide by. You get to kind of create your own course. How do we design a course that's kind of human and yet meets multiple needs when, when you don't know the people themselves? So in, in a practical sense, the students that I'm mentoring, you know, that sort of lives itself out. And for, for me, I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm realizing that just through short emails and the type of work I get, I, I, I do get a picture of a student and we do have a relationship. I've committed my life to working with people like Barbara and a, and a whole team of amazing people that have come together uh, with this idea of designing oneself, creating the most uh, wonderful, positive human being possible in each one of our locations and that it's a personal responsibility, a personal opportunity and an incredible journey of discovery and uh, relationship. Without um, them saying yes to the invitation of Self Design High, I'm not sitting here, you know, because they are saying yes. And I feel really um, just so fortunate. This is the first time I've ever been in a job that I've loved. I love it. I found out that I really like learning and that education is really fun and it comes in all shapes and forms and you can learn about anything and that you can get into a deeper level on everything and that everything's connected in a way that I didn't think before. Way more freedom and it not necessarily like you're learning less or more but it's just like you actually want to learn. When you actually want to learn, it's a much more fruitful education. Mentors are really good at just getting out of the way and just letting us, like supporting us and always being there. Like very grateful for that. Like always kind of being in the background, accessible. It's really awesome, an awesome opportunity for me to get high school graduation without like any weird cost. School, like in school they teach you, they tell you what to do. And here I have to take it, I have to learn instead of study. We're always open to new ways of doing things. We don't have a monopoly on good ideas and what's best. It's a marvelous um, nest of human potentiality 
in the midst of the stupid things that are going on in the world. I'm, I'm really excited about the street art course. The fact that you can do a street art class as a grade 11 course is really exciting. The courses itself generally go into like deeper kind of issues of like humanity and the environment and stuff. It's like people are asking you personally like how do you feel and what do you want to do about this and like how can I help you? An unopened chest of like really really neat stuff to get involved in and I barely scratched the surface of what I could do here. This is an atmosphere where that's totally nurtured and you're free to do anything you want. The courses of, that are available here are limitless and it's just an incredible institution. It's fabulous. Um, I don't want it to end here. I feel like I'm still connected to it and I'd like to do more future projects with them and I'm gonna be here for another year so I guess we'll see where that goes. And then you come to this school and it's like, okay, well, we're going to make sure that you have stuff that's going to satisfy the government for a diploma, but we're going to make it that you have the courses you need so that you can succeed in what you want to do. School can be different. Your high school experience can be a very different one than many, say, of my generation, what we've experienced. It can be a very different and dynamic and uh, uh, exciting time. It gives you the freedom to learn about what you want to learn about and do what you want to do. Yeah. <laughs>